Hi everyone, welcome to Keo Talks. My name is Kelly and in today's video we're going to be talking about what it's like being a biology major in community college and if you should do it. I'll be talking about my experiences and what I learned from it while I was in community college. There are a couple things that I'd like to talk about and what I'd recommend to future bio majors. So stay tuned for this video and watch from beginning to end. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe to Keo Talks for more college videos. Let's begin. When you first enter community college, you'll probably be like, I want to be a biology major. The thing is, in community colleges, is that they don't recognize your major. They don't really care. So what happens is, is you have to go to your counselor. And when you transfer, that's when you declare your major. But in community colleges, as long as you take the required coursework, it doesn't really matter what major you are. Make sure to find the right counselors to help you with your college education plan. It is so important that you have the correct college plan. It makes a huge difference when it comes to transferring in two years or in four years. You want to make sure you have a plan for the next semester courses and the courses in future semesters. So why did I take biology? Why not biochemistry? Why not chemistry? Well, I'm not the best at science. I'm actually terrible at chemistry and probably not that great in biology either. But I do want to become a physician assistant. One of the best ways to meet the requirements for the programs that I want to apply to is to get into the major that has the coursework already. I want to let you guys know if you are pre-med or you're pre-health, it doesn't matter what major you're doing as long as you complete the coursework for the program that you're going to apply to. For example, I didn't have to do biology, I can study English. And as long as I take all the biology, chemistry, math courses, physics courses, I'll be okay. For the sake of my time, I really just took biology so that I can take all the required courses so I can apply to PA school. When I was in community college, I told the counselor that I wanted to be a PA in the future. There are a couple majors that I could have gone with instead of biology. For example, I could have gone with chemistry or biochemistry, but I didn't. I decided to just go with biology because it was just simpler and I didn't want to do even more courses than I need to. Even though I was decent in math and I was decent in chemistry and biology, I didn't want to put myself through all that pain. If I did choose chemistry and biochemistry, I would have stayed there at least three years in order for me to complete the lower division required courses. I'm just very fascinated with human biology and I really think that that major will help me understand the human anatomy a lot better. When I first started community college, I didn't know which college that I wanted to go to after I transferred. So I just told the counselor that I wanted to go to UCLA, USC, UC Irvine, UC San Diego, and UC Santa Barbara. Those were the colleges that I told them I might be interested in, but I didn't know for sure yet. So when you plan, you have to plan according to those schools. Eventually, I picked UC San Diego because I wanted to leave Los Angeles for a little bit, and it was a great way for me to be out of my comfort zone for a little bit and study at a school that is mainly STEM-based. If you're wondering what courses you need to take at community college in order to succeed as a biology major, I really suggest that you check out assist.org. Assist is a database that has all the required courses for all of the majors in different schools. All you have to do is just go on assist, click the school year that you are interested in seeing the agreement for, and you also have to input which school you're from. So I put East Los Angeles Community College, and I want to transfer to UC San Diego, and then I pick the major. From there, they will convert the courses from your community college to the courses of your university. Assist gives a general requirement of what you should expect to finish with your major requirements. If you go on your college website, they'll tell you explicitly what needs to be done in order to be applying for the school. For example, when I wanted to apply to UC San Diego, I checked out assist.org and they gave me math classes up to Calculus 3. But when I checked the school's website, it didn't ask me to complete Calculus 3, it just asked me to complete Calculus 2. You are expected to take series of math courses, chemistry courses, biology courses, and general education requirements. Make sure to go on Assist and your college's website to compare which courses that you need to take. Overall, at community college, I found that the courses were a lot easier. One of the worst nightmares for biology majors and a lot of science majors is organic chemistry. When I took organic chemistry in community college, it was quite tough. I can't imagine taking it in a room full of hundreds of students who are also struggling just like me. It was a lot easier to have it completed in community college rather than complete it in university. Another thing to note is that I did not finish all of my lower division requirements. I am missing physics series. 
I decided not to start on my physics series because if I start on a series, I think that the university would like me to finish it while I'm still in community college. Instead, I'm going to start my physics series when I'm at UC San Diego. In order to transfer, you basically want to do the minimum requirement while having a really good GPA. Also, if you're climbing the ladder for harder courses, it is really, really difficult to find options for harder classes. If you wanted to take organic chemistry at ELAC, you'll only have two professors to choose from. One thing I'd like to say to future biology majors is that you want to plan your courses accordingly. You do not want to start on a series and finish it in the middle. And forget about it for a semester or two and then start it again. I really suggest that you stick to the series and you complete it all the way through. For example, if you're going to stick with the math series, you want to start with pre-calculus and trigonometry first. Then from there, you want to take all the calculus courses that you are required to take. I highly recommend that you take prerequisites and general education courses during the summer and winter sessions of your college. Prerequisites are the gateway to higher division courses. An example of a prerequisite will be introduction to chemistry. If you do not take introduction to chemistry or have an equivalent of introduction to chemistry credits, you are not allowed to take chemistry or biology courses. Make sure to leave space for your major classes during the fall and spring semesters. You want to take two major courses and maybe two or three general education courses so you balance out your major courses with general education requirements. Personally, I prefer general education courses to be taken online because I do not want to spend most of my day in a classroom in my general education class. The general education doesn't mean too much to me because what I need to be focused on are the math and science courses. Many students find online classes tedious and they prefer in-person classes. This is fine, but make sure you have room for your major required courses and the time to study for all those courses as well. When looking for a class, you want to go on Rate My Professor or listen to your peers if they've taken classes like that before. I've chosen most of my professors based on Rate My Professor and by word of mouth. Since I was in a community of STEM students, I asked around to see which professor was good for a certain subject. From there, I was able to make my choices and work around the professors that I want to take. When choosing classes, you really want to make sure that you pick general education courses around your major required courses. There are different types of biology and you want to figure out what you want to do in specific. This is when you go on a sys.org or your university website that you want to transfer to and see what kind of majors they offer. For UC San Diego, I chose human biology, which is a little bit different than regular biology. Different types of biology majors have different types of coursework. This is when you want to make sure which biology that you want to commit to. Let's talk about research opportunities. Many biology majors are probably pre-health. There are so many research opportunities regarding biology. Those of you who are pre-health students, pre-med, pre-dental, pre-PA, you probably want to find some kind of research opportunity to make yourself stand out as a student while you're in undergraduate studies. Make sure to join STEM-based programs in your community college. For me, I joined MESA so that I can get some of the benefits for STEM students when it comes to research opportunities and any STEM student resources. Some websites that you can look up are Pathways to Science, NSF.ru, or local research opportunities and websites. STEM-based programs provide a lot of resources when it comes to research opportunities. They highly encourage students to take up research opportunities as well. Even though you did not get a research opportunity while you're still in community college, it is perfectly fine. One of the reasons why students can't seem to get research opportunities is because they didn't complete the coursework that's recommended. For example, if you're trying to get a research opportunity in the lab, and you've only taken one lab class, the chances of you getting that research opportunity is quite slim. I did not get into any research opportunities yet. I will be applying in UC San Diego, which is a great place for STEM students to get research opportunities. All in all, I actually learned quite a lot in my community college and I've quite enjoyed my academic journey there. It is very doable for pre-health students. If you like small classroom learning environments, I think community college can help you boost your GPA when you're a pre-health student. I know a lot of pre-health students are very worried about the GPA. Community college allows you to take all these courses and it is simpler than it is taking at a university. Small classrooms allowed me to get to know the professors just a little bit. I got to talk to them and they were able to write me a letter of recommendation. Letter of recommendations are very important when it comes to research opportunity because a lot of the research programs require at least one letter of recommendation. And if you get to know your professor a little bit more, they're more willing to write you a letter of recommendation. That's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching this Keo Talks. Please like this video and comment down below if you're interested in pursuing biology or you are a bio major. Don't forget to subscribe to Keo Talks for more college videos. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!